Yep, it's referred to as parentage by estoppel, and it happens in a number of U.S. states. Take a listen to this lawyer speaking on this topic. This is what the court said in that in that November 2015 case. This court stated that given its recognition that a person who is not the biological father of a child may be considered a parent against his will. Do you know how much money the state makes off of child support? Oh, Man, it's, it's almost criminal. They, they getting rich. Yeah, of course. So of course, you know they're gonna bang you upside the head with some child support. The attack on men is, is, is underway. I mean, it's it's been upon us for years. But yeah, that's not fair, though. That's not me, fair. Like, how you want to do that? So this is video number two. <laughs> Parentage by estoppel. Did you know that a man can end up paying child support even in the case of dating a single mother. I'm sorry, YouTube. This is some bullshit. I'm, I'm, I, Here we go. Yeah, we didn't play the video yet. Yeah. No, this is just, this is just out of control. <laughs> hey, what peanut that? Come on, what I'll peanut do it for peanut. You ready? It's this dude's podcast. It's this dude's podcast. <laughs> oh. Hey, Jaleel. Let's go. Yep. It's referred to as parentage by estoppel. And it happens in a number of U.S. states. California is one of them. I don't know what the other ones are. Take a listen to this lawyer speaking on this topic. This is what the court said in that in that November 2015 case. This court stated that given its recognition that a person who is not the biological father of a child may be considered a parent against his will, which means even if you fuss and say, hey, not my child, that's not, you know, that's not my child. I don't want to be the parent. It's not that he even volunteered to say, I'm the daddy, call me daddy, call. No, against this will, they made this this guy be the dad. Consequently, and then consequently, they burdened him with the responsibility of paying child support. So what does this mean for the average brother who's hanging out with a single mom? What it means is, if she can get someone to write a letter or someone to come testify, that, uh, you know, he took my child to school. He picked my child up from school. He, he, he paid for my child's clothing. He took my child to the doctor. He babysat. He took my child to a baseball game, football game. But he overall spent his time with my child. And heaven forbid, they call you daddy or stepdad, right? So now what are you doing? Mm. You're basically giving them enough facts to at least allege that you've taken on the fatherly role. So when you break up with your ex-girlfriend and you say, I'm done with you, you cheated on me, you broke the windows out of my car, I'm through with you, she can then go find a very find a family law lawyer, present to him that fact pattern, and then what? And then you get sued. You may not even have a sexual relationship with the woman. That's how expansive this can go. So even if you're dating a single mother and then you interact with that child in any type of way, that appears as if you are a parent. And if you break up, she can then use that against you. And then you may have to pay child support. And if you do have to go to court, and then you end up spending thousands of dollars to try to get yourself off the hook. And I'm truly getting tired of hearing people say that real men will step up and take care of the kids. I'm sorry. If we want to go that route, let's just say a real man knows how to protect himself. A real man is not a fool. People that say these types of things are not aware of the depth in which men are at a disadvantage in the court system. And not every man has the money or capabilities to litigate these types of cases. So if I was a man in the world today, with the way the laws are stacked against men, there's no way I would even come close to a single mother. I'm sorry. There's too many things that can go wrong. False accusations, the potential to pay child support even if we're broken up. Anyone that has common sense is not going to put themselves in a position to be taken advantage of. At the end of the day, the potential for this to become a lose-lose situation is extremely high. Right, so I is. would say to all the men, whatever states they have this law in, Pack up and leave now. <laughs> Pack up and leave now. ASAP. No, well, let, I'm going to say this real quick. I'm going to say this quickly. For one, the state do not want to take care of anyone. Regardless, rather, it's child support, welfare. The state, do, if, if the state can identify a father, oh, he paying. Period. 
He it's just not, then, it's not fair and though. And then with the with 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 the the Title Four D, you know how much money the state makes off of child support. Oh, Man, it's, it's almost criminal. They they getting rich. Yeah, of course. So of course you know they're gonna bang you upside the head with some child support. The attack on men is is, is underway. I mean, it's it's been upon us for years. But yeah, that's not fair though. That's not me, fair. Like, how are you gonna do that? Like, if women are like you know i'm not saying like the feminist movement but if women are looking to stick together and unify this right here is something that they have to champion to get rid of and the reason being is That's if you're a woman because because no, no nobody nobody no single, single mother. every single mother would be a, they will all be saying yeah. They would never get a date because there's no man that's going think about it men don't marry because of the fear of getting divorced and lose, losing everything. That's marriage. So imagine being, imagine the fear of getting stuff taken from you and a, a kid is not, even, not yours. even yours. That's not- so it's like, <laughs> I'm never, you. how many kids you got? Oh, a half of one? Oh yeah, I don't, I don't even know what that means, but no, no thank you. No yeah. men will ever, so it's like to me, if, if you're a woman and you know for a fact that you got a bunch of your friends and they single mamas and they looking for love, if something like this you might want to go up to harrisburg if it's in pennsylvania and you might want to be outside the courtroom saying we need to get rid of this because i'm telling you men are logical the we, they'll see that and be like oh no um i listen it was linda felicia uh ronnie like no we don't want none of them they all going we don't want none of them no nope. nah. part nah. about it is i don't think that the women are going to do that like They're perfect not. example we had we saw some videos where the girl was in, what was it, a little while ago, the girl was in a Walmart with the guy and she was trying to make him pay for the stuff and that was their first date. She didn't know that man. And she mm-hmm. was trying to make him pay for like her baby's pampers and stuff. No, you got him in his baby. Yeah, it wasn't even his child. Like he had just met that girl. So no, like you got too many of these, I wouldn't even call them women. Unstable Fe- creatures. Exactly. These females that's trying to take advantage of these men you know, and it's not fair. That that's just not fair at all. It's yeah. not fair to I mean, guys. Well, it, listen, like, it's it's about making money. Period. The state the state is cool. making money. Now, I mean, but, oh my man, let's get some shout outs, man. We got El Boogie in the building, y'all. Yeah, you know I mean, El yeah. in the building. Hey. Hey. What's up? What's up? Yeah, you know I man. Uh, T in the building too. <laughs> do I got do I got a, do I got a boo button? <laughs> I ain't no boo button, man. Yeah, such a hater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we got my man El Plaga all in the building, y'all. Yeah, man, El Plaga. Let's see how he just be hating. Yeah, that is hate out of love, baby. Look, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna give T no shout outs. T in there. T I. Let's get T. <laughs> let's give T a shout out, y'all. Really? T. Hi T. That's so dry. Hold on, wait a minute. Hi T. Hi, hi. <laughs> Hi, honey really? dip. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. It ain't a soft guy. It ain't, a, it ain't a drizzle, it's a rain. Whoa. That's not even a war. <laughs> this joint after dark. There it is. <laughs> Y'all gonna have to subscribe to the Patreon for that one. Yeah, <laughs> boy, you gotta be a member free. to see what's going <laughs> on. Yeah, uh, you mess around. Y'all might see me topless. Whoa, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's getting real spicy tonight. <laughs> yeah, hey, I got my motherfucking shirt off. I know it's warm outside, but woo, y'all lighting the grills already. <laughs> no bottoms on. Oh my Whoa. gosh. <laughs> Oh man! So listen, shall we go to the comments? Go ahead. Yeah. Shall go we to spend the to the comments? Yes, yes, yes. Look at yeah, hold on, El Boogie talking about pause. Now no pause. Yeah, pause. No pause, baby. No Diddy. Yes, Diddy. <laughs> 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 All right, wait, we get hold on. The first comment: One woman tried to do this with her neighbor who wow. ba- who babysit who babysat once in a while. That's I'm getting shame. my sister. Some bullshit. I'm getting my sister to whoop her ass. Yo, it's right out the gate. That's crazy. Yeah, can you imagine? And he's just probably just being nice, favor? and he's trying to help her out yeah. by being a single mom. Probably she's trying to go to work or something like that, and here he is trying to help her out. See, that's why you. Can't I don't even her. like little nut ass turquoise. <laughs> <on. laughs> 
I don't even like him. What's the name? Turquavion. 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 <laughs> yeah, I don't even like him. I'm just, I just see you were struggling. I'm trying to help you out. I might have won DMs, but still, that's not the point. Oh God. The he point is, I was trying there. to help you out. Little Turquavion over here, he didn't eat up all my snacks. You didn't give me not a dime for him, and now you trying to take me to child support? This young boy you even know him with his nappy ass here. You ain't even taking get no cut or nothing. No, no. That ain't happening. Nope. Now Tarquavion is going to be on the porch by himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, he's he going to go to work oh, with you. Yeah, exactly. Hold on. And then I'm calling child services. Exactly. We got an un unsupervised child. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, my man, I'm talking about Lost the Dark Diddy. Oh, yeah. You oh, wow. I like that right there. Oh, Lord. Wow. Why did you say that, though, Plog? And now you I'm get a, Oh, God. Oh, that just got him started. Hey, Plog, you coming to my party? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Oh, right, so wait, the second comment. Second comment says, no dating single mothers just to be on the same I'm side. telling you, this that's, that's what's going to happen. Yeah, this that's that's what's going to happen. It's gonna, they gonna because be that's the, just going to mess it up even for the women that's not even like that on mm -hmm. that whole It's going to be a vibe. whole lot of, how can I put this up? So YouTube don't flag us. Um, roses going to be on a premium. Yes. <laughs> not just roses. This is going to be a lot of um, scissors. Oh, damn. Uh, oh damn. A lot of scissors are going to just be out and about. Just oh, a wow. lot of a lot of paper going to be cut, like oh, wow. going on. Oh wow! Yeah, it's going to take over because they're going to be alone. Alone now, most of them. <laughs> so what we got? No, they not because they all they all settling for the same dude. That's what they doing. That's what oh, y'all doing. Oh, is there? that what it is? Ain't, ain't y'all? Ain't no. Don't put me in. We, that, I'm talking please. to the audience. I don't. Oh. I'm just, I don't know. Yeah, tell us in the comment. So what we got? So the third comment that I sniped. Was it said, I'm a stepfather, even though it turned out good, I would not recommend it for any man because the road was horrible. Uh, I don't agree with that. Like, it's according to the person. So, like, if you mess with a woman and she has a child, I think it's, or vice versa, if a man has a child and, and you're the woman in the situation, I think it's the parent's responsibility mm -hmm. to create a, a safe environment for both the step parent and the child like bring them together you know be the middle person to bring them together to help them create a bond and then once they created their own bond let them do their own thing <coughs> but i think that a lot of times or not a lot of times sometimes you know that parent will let leave it up to the step parent and the child and then if the mm -hmm. child you know has some issues with the step parent you know just being a child or if the step parent has never been in this situation before and is uncomfortable with providing structure and discipline and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. They may take a back seat like, hey, listen, you know, I tried to tell this kid to take the trash out. She spazzed on me. So it's like, OK, I'm, I'm going to just be hands off now until the parent creates it. So sometimes yeah. it's all according to the to the, that parent. If that parent is the type of parent that wants to make the, the, the relationship better. I think it'll work because I've seen it work a lot of times. Yeah. Well, El Plaga, he made a comment about, you know, him used to being uh, used oh, to did. dating <laughs> single women that's used to heartbreak. They all used to. <clears throat> and a lot of times, to, and to an extent, that's true. And the reason why I said it is, you know, as me being a single mother, I'm not saying that I'm used to heartbreak, but just knowing single single women and going through certain experiences. Yeah. What happens is a lot of times you come across and I think that's until you elevate and, and come to a certain level, a higher level of mentality, when you start to settle or date these guys that aren't worth shit, yeah. and they just want to just, you know, as y'all say, just want to fuck or whatever. So, Whoa, we're on um, YouTube. <laughs> okay. Trump on a bump. <laughs> Where's the monetization at? <laughs> so, <laughs> basically, you know, they these guys play too many games, and what happens is, is these girls start to, you know, develop feelings and emotions for these guys and then that's where the heartbreak comes in at but also at the same time that's their fault too because until you elevate and start to realize who this guy is from the beginning you won't even have to put yourself in that position you know? ladies here's here's the, here's the advice for you Start treating them like hoes, okay? If y'all start treating us like hoes, right. it'll change. That's what I'm gonna do. Treat us like hoes. All right, I'm going to treat y'all like right. hoes. That's it. Because then they, they can't spend it on you. Treat them like hoes from the beginning. And, and tell them CJ said.